Hello guys, welcome to see learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about the static routing on ENSP Huawei. So, first of all, we will build a topology. We will create a simple topology. We will take two routers and two switches and two PCs. And we will use copper wire to connect these pieces interface. We will start devices. So I will show you how to configure static routing on routers. Uh, static routing is not used nowadays because of a huge uh, uh, space in it did take huge space in routing table. So there are many protocols, other protocol routing protocol which use nowadays like RIP and OSP, OSPF, which we will learn uh, in next videos and now i will show you uh, static routing first of all we will give the ip address to router 192.168.1.0 it's the 1.0 network 192.168.2.0 network and this is 192.168.2.0 3.0's network ok first of all we will give the IP to PCs 192.168.1.2 and 192.168.1.1 ok and on in this PC 192.168.3.2.255.255.255.0 and here 192.168.3.1 this is the gateway address now we will assign IP to interface of router uh, first of all we will go system view interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 and the IP address 192.168.2.1 this is the 2.0 network so we will assign 2.1 IP address to here and 24 ok on this interface quit interface g0 slash 0 slash 1 the IP address is 192.168.1.1 and 24 I will write IP address here to remember you so you can remember easily I will so now we will assign IP address here system view 192.168.1. sorry interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 and IP address 192.168.2.2 and 24 and now on this interface 02 interface quit interface g0 slash 0 slash 2 and IP address 192.168.3.1 and 24 now IP is set now PC can ping their gateways ping 192.168.1.1 is pinging and this PC ping 192.168.3.1 it will ping yes it's pinging so now this was the PCs are uh, pinging their gateways like this I show you so this PC can't ping this PC right now because there is no uh, static route or any routing uh, I 
configured on router because router do not know about this uh, router so which uh, which network are connect to this router because this router only knows the 1.0 and 2.0 network but this router don't know about the 3.0 network uh, network 3 and same like uh, on this network this network only know the 2.0 network and 3.0 network it's uh, this router don't know about uh, what is configured beside uh, behind this network this, this router so it's uh, don't know about uh, this network uh, 1.0 net so static route uh, we will configure on uh, this router to tell router that uh, which or which networks are connected to neighbor routers and beyond this neighbor router so we will configure right now we will if we ping this pc it will not ping ping 192.168.3.3.1 so it will not ping because this route this pc don't know about this router don't know about uh, this address this pc we will uh, configure uh, static routing in, on routers so for uh, configure static routing we have the separate entry for each route so it's not uh, good because router take more space because uh, all paths have the separate entries on routing table so it's a huge routing table and huge entries in routing table so i will show you how to configure routing table so in this router uh, in this router we will configure a static route like uh, something come from 3 uh, 3.0 network in this from this network any traffic will come to this router will go back through this path okay we will tell this router that anything come from this this network will forward it to this path on this interface this is the interface uh, is this interface is 2.1 and this interface is 192.168.2.2 so we will told this router that anything come from this side forward it to this interface 2.2 and we will tell this router that anything come from this network 1.0 network forward it to 2.1 on this interface of router so we will we'll tell the opposite side of router uh, to router this router we will tell the opposite side and for this router we will tell this opposite side so that's how static route work so we will configure uh, IP route static static 192.168.3.0 which is this network which is this network 3.0 network anything from this network with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 it means that perfect match if there is zero it means that all ip within this network 3.0 1 2 3 4 and 255 uh, ips are allowed so on next hop what is the next hop address this is the network which are uh, we want to uh, allow this network and to which interface which interface of router this interface of router so we will configure this IP address or we also we can configure this interface name like G000 okay so we will now we will configure this IP address 192.168.2.2 so this is configured so for this router we tell this router that anything come from this any traffic come from this router forward it to this path so static routing configured here now we will configure here static route configure here quit so IP route static 192.168.1.0 from this network anything come from this network forward it to this interface of router this router should know that anything come from this network any data from this network 
come to him it will forward it to this interface of router so we will configure 1.255.255.255.0 and next hop address is 192.168.2.1 .1, this interface of router so it's configured now the both PC will ping each other ping 192.168.1.1 sorry uh, 3.2 this PC is IP address this PC is IP address so this is pinging so this PC can also ping that PC ping 192.168.1.2 so it's ringing for this PC both PCs are communicating each other so that's how static routes work uh, that's all for today's video thank you